This diagram shows the circular flow of income. It's a very simple example of how the macro economy works. Basically, if you remember, national income can be measured in one of three ways, income, output and expenditure. And whichever way uh, that you use, you can use this model as well. Basically, households are the likes of you and me, individuals, groups of people, families, etc. We provide work for firms and as a result, we get income. The black lines show the way that the money flows. So we gain income. From that income, households can only do four things. They can either spend it on goods and services which are produced in the UK, we call that consumption, or they can save it, that's called savings, taxation, T, or spend it on imports, which is M. At the same time, it's not only, firm, it's not only individuals that demand things from firms. Firms also get demand from other firms, that which we call investment, from government and from overseas because people buy our exports. These three flow out of the economy and they are termed leakages. These three flow into the economy and they are called injections. An economy will be in equilibrium, remember a position from which there's no tendency to change, when Injections are equal to leakages. In other words, the amount of money flowing out is the same as the amount of money flowing in. If injections become greater than leakages, then we will have an expanding economy. Whereas if leakages become greater than injections, more money is flowing out than in, and so we'll have a shrinking economy. This is a very simple model. The better model to use to explain the macroeconomy is the aggregate demand, aggregate supply model.